Okay then, Helldivers, we're back inside of the game, and we've got a Galactic War update for your faces, as this major order genuinely looks like something we can complete, as they have now officially figured out exactly what it is that's happening inside of this major order. A nice new complex mechanic that happened to run through, we're going to take a look at it today, as well as a glitch that happened in the system overnight. This has been a very interesting one, and one that the bots would have been happy if were actually real. We're going to take a look at everything today. If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on it'd be greatly appreciated and check out our sponsor instant gaming the platform where you can buy your video games cheaper for pc and consoles with the best deals offers promotions and discounts all run up to 70 percent off including new purchases and pre-orders it's definitely worth a glaze over link in the description make sure you go and get your games a little cheaper today with that being said let's see what's happening inside of the game right now so starting off when we take a look at the galactic war table we see some interesting features happening at the moment yes this may not look like the way it did a few hours ago and we'll get into that in just a second but taking a look at the major order right now we have Marfark that has the jet brigade on it and this one seems to be a little bit more doable we're going to get into the details of that one in just a second as this has been running down quite greatly we've had a load of different level runs since this operation has started started off with Marta Bay with a level 40 defense campaign that went into Martail at a level 26 defense campaign and now we are at Marfark and this is now at a level 19 campaign now this is an interesting feature because as the jet brigade have been defeated repeatedly and people have been fighting over these two planets we have been depleting the jet brigade overall meaning that we are looking at a decent factor of this being completed today and if not and we don't manage to take Marfark Arfark, we should eventually take the next planet which is probably looking to be this right here Azir Pass or maybe even running a little bit further to the northern region of Menkem but we'll see exactly where it is that they place this afterwards it's going to be an interesting feature but again we'll see exactly what's happening as of right now, you can see right here on the companion app that we need around 14,000 Helldivers to be running inside of this. And with 20,000 Helldivers currently playing inside of the game, all we need is a couple thousand more to actually run inside of Marfark to be able to do the damage that we need to complete this major order from the one attack from the Atamazons. The Jet Brigade seem to be a powerful feature, and although they are not powerful to go against one-on-one, -on -one, they have been definitely causing havoc across the the galaxy fingers crossed we managed to get this one completed today make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's update to see whether it is that we've defeated it or not and what the major order is looking like at that stage but for right now it's all forces over to marfark to see if we can get this one completed and move forward with the dss construction campaign let's see what it is that it brings to the table but a massive bug that happened overnight this one is a very very weird one and we saw it all over our discord the link is down in the description if you guys want to join up 10,000 of you guys currently in there which is amazing but this bug right here was well impossible to say the least we all thought that they were expanding that quickly and that it was going to be an absolute nightmare but it turns out that the system may have just caused a bit of a back dump and had just caused an issue absolutely everywhere I don't really understand what the hell happened here and when it was actually rectified, but this seemed to be a problem which definitely sent the stomachs of all Helldivers upside down quite greatly. And for those people who were on at the time, after close inspection, they knew this was a bug after seeing all of the ships over on the bug side and yet no automatons anywhere to be seen. So I think everybody has started to worry a lot less, a lot quicker after a little while when we soon realised that this probably wasn't going to be sustainable for the longevity. But yeah, this is something which is hilarious and oddly all of the guys over at Arrowhead have been so quiet. I'm understanding absolutely nothing that is going on right now. Twinbeard has been on the, the absolute down low, stating pretty much nothing at all. Maybe the odd message here and there. Shams, Pillistead, and so many more have pretty much been MIA on Twitter and on Reddit and on Discord. And you don't see them responding pretty much anywhere at the moment. As to what's going on with that, we'll have to wait and see. But with Liberation Day, 
just around the corner, we're going to see exactly what it is that they have in store. It seems that they may well be very hard at work. And there is loads of theories happening with this right here. It states, I never played Helldivers 1. Is this bad? And as you will have noticed, if you guys have been playing over the last seven, eight months or so, that these right here are the Hive Lords. These are part of the Terminid sector and have been a pain in the rear end for all people playing Helldivers 1. Although, very slowly but surely, the fossils of them have been removed from the ground very, very slowly. Over the due course of the whole six, seven months, we are starting to see that these now are making full embodiments of their fossils above ground not just the mouths poking out, not just the spinals being a part of the terrain, but actually full-grown hive lords actually poking out of the ground. This is starting to become a bit of a weird one because this was a boss mechanic that's not yet been implemented into HD2, but it was a long ride and a massive thing for HD1. Whether this is going to be making its way to the game soon, we'll have to wait and see, but I'd like to say that this has probably been the longest story arc for anything on the Terminid side for quite in some time and now you can well wander around and see the full fossils they look pretty damn big right yeah it's crazy mad to think that they're not even the biggest things in each faction you yeah, know there was a such thing called super bosses back in the day let's dive on into the next topic so with liberty day around the corner it seems to be the highest thing inside of the topics going on right now and liberty day is going to be probably one of the most celebrated days of the year for all hell divers round on october 26th we are going to see it go live and this is going to be such an insane event, mainly because we haven't really had any events inside of the game right now. We're all speculating what it is that's going to happen, so let me know in the comment section what you guys think is going to be coming on Liberty Day. As it seems with 4.1 thousand upvotes, a lot of you guys are getting excited for it. Not only that, but we're going to be doing a deal with Gamersups. We're going to be offering you guys completely free shipping and free samples. You don't even have to put your bank details in. So when that comes live on the 26th, make sure you stay tuned for it because it's going to be such a cool day. We're going to give away a load of energy drinks just for you guys and see how it is that you can get along with it free of charge. And moving into your top comments, we were talking just yesterday about what it is that the game is doing and the fact that this is becoming a borderline impossible venture with such a low player base. And we all thought that the Creakers had either depleted from the game and had given up or had all all passed forward and well actually the comment section said otherwise this one right here states as a creaker who's still fighting we never die update good to see more creek vets still kicking ass godspeed boys let's give them hell and it had 315 likes on that comment it's amazing to see that those people that were all a part of the creaker fight and making sure that the creek actually managed to get liberated still has so many vets playing the game the player base has depleted quite a lot, it's a honest truth, and it's something that you would kind of expect when you see these style of games, but it's nice to know that the Creakers are still around kicking those veterans, we definitely appreciate you, and we hope that you can do something to get us another bloody cape, because my lord, that Creak one gets boring after a while. <laughs> <laughs> and this next comment right here states the first attack on Marta Bay was level 40. Now the Marta is level 28. We are crumbling their forces, but we have to wear them down further to win their MO. We will lose some planets, but we have to keep fighting, and that is so damn true. Hopefully, Marfark is the last planet, although we only need 13,000 of you guys on there fighting. It could still be quite a challenge at points, with it being maybe like the lower times of the day. It's now currently a Monday morning, so it's not likely that we'll see any sort of changeover, and we'll have to wait until tomorrow before we get that liberation on the planet that we genuinely want. With that being said, though, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today. Thank you so much again for watching. If you haven't already, like, subscribe. Appreciate your faces, and as always, I'll see you in the clouds. Thank you.